The EDUCAS WJEC specification states that candidates must be able to describe the challenges to ethical naturalism from Hume, Moore's naturalistic fallacy and the open question argument. This film will explain all three. David Hume, in A Treatise of Human Nature, argued that the kinds of statements made by ethical naturalists are unreasonable. If you remember, ethical naturalists deduce moral statements such as we ought not to kill by looking at facts about the world. But, Hume argues, this is not correct reasoning. His claim has been summed up as saying you cannot derive an ought from an is. Deriving an ought from an is means that when we see a descriptive or is statement, we come to the fallacious conclusion that due to the natural or current state of something, we can prescribe that this something ought to be a particular way. As we can see from Hume's reasoning, though, to make this leap from factual is statements, the truth or falsity of which can be observed, to an ought statement, which has no ability to be observed, is false reasoning. These ought statements are ethical statements that proclaim an absolute nature of an act, and we have no evidence to back them up. There is nothing to be found in the is statements that lead us to the ought conclusion. Most normative theories at some stage make this transition from is to ought without sufficient reasoning, meaning that any moral deductions or commands made in this way are logically invalid. This has become known as Hume's law. For example, I could look at the world and see that killing ends the life of a person. I could notice it causes unhappiness and pain for those who are left behind. I can also notice that it is disruptive to society. These three statements are descriptive ones, is statements. If I go on to conclude that therefore we ought not to kill, I am making a logical error. There is no information contained in the premises that leads us to the conclusion. You can't get out what you have not put in. This is a violation of the laws of logic. The implications of this could be that ethical statements are non-cognitivist and cannot be seen as being propositional in any way, in that such statements do not give statements of fact when derived from factual propositions. Alternatively, it could mean that if we are to derive a moral ought, then it cannot be done through demonstrative reason alone. Instead, there needs to be input from somewhere else, such as moral sentiments or feelings.